In the epistle today we read, and it's Our Lady speaking, I am the mother of holy hope. Today's gospel, when we meditate on, on the fifth joyful mystery of the rosary, the finding of our Lord in the temple, what we notice is a sad thing, really, that turns into a great joy. Our Lady and St. Joseph, they're wandering in the, in the great procession back home after having been to the temple. And Mary thinks that our Lord is with Joseph, and Joseph thinks our Lord is with, with Our Lady. But when they come a day's journey, they say, they realize our Lord had stayed behind. They had gone a full day without Jesus. Now, Our Lady didn't do anything wrong here. There was not, a, not an imperfection, not even a sin, nor did St. Joseph. However, this is what spiritual authors use this mystery to teach us is how sorrowful it is when we stray from our Lord, when we fall into mortal sin and walk a day of our life without Jesus in our soul. What a sad thing it is. But if we seek with Our Lady, then we will always find Him once more. We stay with her. There's a story in the life of St. Dominic. I just came across it today in that, that really good book, The Secret of the Rosary, that St. Dominic had already begun preaching on the rosary. And he had a cousin, Don Pedro was his name, and this cousin of his was living, living a very sinful life. Now, he had heard that St. Dominic had been preaching and that many conversions had been made because of the hope that he gave when he preached about the rosary. So Don, Don Pedro, he said, well, I had almost despaired, so I better go hear my cousin preach. No, maybe that'll give me a little bit of hope. So he went, he heard him preach, but um, when St. Dominic saw him come in through the church, St. Dominic then began preaching even more zealously against sin and against mortal sin. And it surprised his cousin, but he was still hardened in his sin. So he left that day unconverted. He came back a second time. This time St. Dominic knew the only way to convert this cousin of his who was so hardened in his mortal sin was for there to be something spectacular. So he told everyone, or rather he prayed to our Lord very loudly from the pulpit to that our Lord show to everyone else in this church the true state of soul of this sinful cousin of his. And right then and there, it appeared that this man, Don Pedro, was surrounded by devils in the form of different beasts who held him bound with iron chains in his sin. And everyone started running off. And Dominic, he held up his hands and he said, don't go anywhere. And at that moment, he held out a rosary to Don Pedro and he said, admit your sinfulness and throw yourself at the feet of Our Lady right now and pray this rosary. On the spot, he prayed the full rosary. And as he was praying, he was being enlightened. And he decided that he had better make a good confession. And so he did that. And then he left. Instead of having demons with him, he left with an angelic countenance. He left with that joy that Our Lady must have experienced when she found our Lord after those three, the, the three days. What joy comes from a good confession. But that grace of conversion, it wasn't worked, I would say, so much through that apparition. That was instrumental. It was worked mainly through the power of that rosary that he said there on his knees. That's the chain 
with which we should be bound. Not the chain of sin, but the heavenly chain, the holy rosary that binds us to Our Lady and Our Lady to us. Pray the rosary. If you pray it sincerely, I can never say this enough. All the saints said the same things for centuries upon centuries. And all you have to do is read our Catholic history, how many conversions have been worked through the rosary. And it can never be said too many times by us priests, pray your rosary every single day. If you have such a busy day that you, or you forget it, then say at least one decade. You'll never regret that extra few minutes of time awake or time away from other things that you'd rather be doing. Because at the end of your life, Our Lady's going to remember all those times that you asked her to pray for you at the hour of your death. She's going to be there She's going to be praying to her divine son at that very moment when your soul will need it most. So always remember that. Be devoted to the rosary, most devoted. And as you pray it, and as we pray it together this evening, pray it with the utmost confidence that your mother and the mother of God is interceding for you and for your salvation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost.